Hey guys. You're home late. Yeah, I had a crazy night. I went to the pharmacy. <laughs> Cut the crap. We know where you were. We know what you were doing. Cut the crap. Informal idiom. To stop fooling around and get to the point. Often used as an imperative, as a command. Examples. So you're Dr. Schwartz. That's me. Look, I am. How can I help you? I've been watching you ever since you showed up here. You don't seem like the other doctors that we've had. It's funny. Uh, my best friend Jakob is always saying that. Oh. Cut the crap. We both know why I'm here. We do? Your heart's beating a mile a minute. It's not because I'm nervous. But maybe Sonia didn't make a mistake. Maybe she just met her soulmate when she was young. No. No, no, no. That never happens. See, she threw her life away, and now she wants out. Okay, let's cut the crap. We're not talking about sub character on a soap opera here, are we? No. No, we're not. That's some nice police work, Peralta. Yeah, Joe. I especially like how you found evidence, followed up on it, and it's led you closer to a solve. No, I agree, Peralta. It's excellent work. You must have hated saying that. No, I didn't. I like giving compliments. You have a nice, deep voice. It is very commanding. Cut the crap, John. You're furious, and everyone can tell. <laughs> Hey, what's up, dudes? Fries? Robin, seriously, I love you, but it's like you have squiggly cartoon odor lines coming off of you right now. <laughs> you know what, Barney? Just cut her some slack, okay? She just went through a breakup. Cut someone some slack to be less critical of someone's behavior or performance. Examples. I, I cannot believe Ross even made this list. No. Hey, cut him some slack. It was Chandler's idea. What? Oh, good. I was hoping that would come up. This was what your idea. Thinking? All right, let, let's get some perspective here, okay? These things, they happen for a reason. Yeah, you. All right, it's trilogy time. Can I just lodge one complaint? This is a guy's tradition. It's kind of a lame move on Ted's part to bring a chick. Come on, dude. Cut him some slack. I know. He loves her. And I'll give him this. She is pretty damn cute. Thank God she takes after her mother. <laughs> All right, let's watch this thing. I'm afraid I, I had to fail you. Why? <laughs> well, you need 60% to pass. Well, maybe you can cut me some slack. I'm sort of in love. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but that's, that's really not my problem. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Lily, we carry so much ancient emotion in our neck and shoulders. Lily, we are Ted's best friends. Our job is to hate that guy. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I was doing. I, I was just building him up so a few minutes later I could totally cut him down. Cut someone down or cut someone down to size. Used to show someone that they are not as clever or important as they think. To kill someone. Examples. Naming your dog after him, it's a little disrespectful. Oh, it's a gesture. Yeah, an aggressive gesture. Think about it. You're a novelist. You think this guy's the greatest? So you name your dog after him to cut him down to size. This way, you can put him on a leash and yell, bad, Scotty, and feel all superior because you pee inside. I'm not afraid of dying. You're too stupid to appreciate the implications. I didn't say I like the idea. And I'll resist death with everything I have. But when the Malcolm Ovis comes with his scythe to cut me down, I'll go. I know Hawking's not busy because I can see he's playing other people right now. Maybe since you're so good, he's taking his time to meet the challenge. I want Penny to enjoy it. Wallace told me he's a big baby. <laughs> You did, I didn't know that, and I played extract for 82 points. So it's all Amy's fault. She told me to play it. I've got to cut her loose. Cut someone loose. To distance or free oneself from someone or something. From a person, group, system. Examples. So, Joy, yeah? what brings you to Sin City? You know, just um, being spontaneous, cutting loose like everyone else. How about yourself? Yeah. Uh, me? Oh, uh, I'm here on business. Big business, actually. I'm, uh, I'm a pretty important guy <laughs> in my field. All right, Sarge, now to cut you loose. No, I'm staying tied up. I don't care how much of a jerk Kendrick is. I wanted to be clear, I had no part in this. No offense, but you are a huge waste of muscles. So, Saturday night, time to cut loose, right? Who wants to split a beer? Oh, 
<laughs> we're not drinking here. Tonight we're going big. Let's see, what club should we hit first? The Netherlands is this make-believe place where Peter Pan and Tinkerbell come from. <laughs> Enough with geography for the insane, OK? Let's play some ball, guys. Oh, well, no, no, I'm not playing with this guy now. Oh. oh, fine with me. OK, you know what? I've had enough of this. Let's just cut to the chase here, OK? Heidi, which of my boys do you like? Cut to the chase. To start talking about or dealing with what is important. Polite version of similar idiom cut the crap. Examples. You got to know that I would never put you on the spot or make you uncomfortable. Hank, you could just cut to the chase. Back when we lost you, and I was trying to track you down to your former student, Jesse Pinkman. Now, you know that I know that once upon a time, he may have uh, dealt you a little weak. All is forgiven, so come back home. I'll make you some soy hot chocolate, and then I'll tell you about our exciting new devil may care bathroom policy. <laughs> Cut to the chase, Sheldon. Okay, Amy's decided she wants to move in with me, so I need you to come back home, you lovable scamp. So, Saturday night, time to cut loose, right? Cut the crap. We know where you were. We know what you were doing. A few minutes later, I totally cut him down. Hey, cut him some slack.